Hello girls and boys, welcome to Elementor Tips and Tricks video clips. While I was working on my previous video tutorial about the off canvas menu, I got an idea on how to switch from horizontal version of the menu to the off canvas menu that can be used for mobile devices or even tablets. It doesn't really matter. The point is that you don't necessarily need to use Elementor's built-in mobile drop-down menu, but rather create your own. Before you continue to watch this video, I encourage you to watch off canvas menu video tutorial as well. Why? Because you're going to learn how to actually create that off canvas menu. I'm not going to repeat myself and do the same thing in this tutorial. I'm just going to reuse the menu that I have created before. The link to off canvas menu video tutorial can be found in the description below. So the thing or the task is pretty much obvious how to create the custom mobile menu and avoid using default one that doesn't work that great. Or otherwise, let's say that the horizontal menu is preferred menu version for all the desktop machines, while all other devices such as tablets and mobiles should access the off canvas version of the main menu. Ok, let's open the header template that houses my main menu. First. Highlight the nav menu widget, be sure the content tab is opened. Layout is going to be horizontal, airline to the right hand side, pointer, sub menu indicator, basically everything here remains as is with one little exception. And the exception is the breakpoint option which needs to be set to none. It's simply because I don't want my horizontal menu turned into the mobile drop down at the given breakpoint. I will rather hide it completely and display my own version of the mobile menu. But let me first demonstrate how that mobile drop down looks like and what options I have by the default. I'm going to set the breakpoint back to the tablet for a moment. So responsive mode, select tablet, just to make my mobile menu visible, ok? So this is how it actually looks like. What I can do now is to let it sit inside the header. And if I do that, the header will grow or become as tall as the menu itself. When speaking of the width, the menu cannot be wider than the parent column. I also have another option and which is to make my mobile drop down menu full width. By doing so, the menu becomes absolutely positioned and the header height doesn't change anymore. So these two are the only possible mobile drop down menu versions in Elementor, default ones at least to the date of this video tutorial release. However, as I said at the beginning, it's also possible to build your own mobile version of the menu. Very easy. First, let's disable any breakpoint for, for real now and do the things new way. Okay? Set breakpoint option to none. And now I'll open the widgets library. Next, I'll drag and drop the button widget right below the existing horizontal menu. I'll delete the text because I need only the icon. Let's create so called action trigger for my off canvas menu now or a pop up. I'm going to click on that dynamic link above and find the pop up on the list of actions. You can see that my link input field says pop up and there's a little wrench icon next to it. So I'm going to click that little wrench icon or anywhere inside the input field. Action should be open pop-up and I have to tell Elementor which pop-up to actually open. I'll just start typing the name of my pop-up which is off canvas menu. Elementor loads all the matching pop-up titles and I just have to pick the one that I'm about to trigger. And that's it. That's how the pop-up trigger is created. Next, alignment button should be aligned to the right hand side and now I'm going to select the hamburger icon. This time literally a hamburger icon. Ok? So I'm going to type in hamburger and here it is. Alright. Icon spacing should be zero. Now I need to style up my hamburger icon a little bit so I'll open the style tab. Typography. Even though I don't have any text on my button, this is actually how I can control the size of the icon. So 30 pixels will be fine. Text shadow, I don't need any. Text color, 
for both normal and hover state okay it will be black and then slightly transparent when mouse over it and the background color will be fully transparent for both normal and horror state border type border radius and box shadow are not needed and I'll simply leave as is finally padding let's decrease padding to 5 pixels okay now that I have all the elements needed let's get to the very point point. and the very point is how to hide my horizontal menu and make the hamburger icon show up instead at a certain breakpoint of course in case you didn't know there's a panel in Elementor named responsive which can be found under advanced tab so I'm gonna highlight the menu first open advanced tab and expand responsive panel this is where I can switch or better say control the visibility of any section column or widget per device because I want to keep the horizontal menu visible on desktop machines only I'll hide it for all tablets and mobiles. Likewise, I'm going to highlight the hamburger button, open advanced tab, expand responsive panel, and hide it for all the desktop machines. Okay? Let's check all out. Remember that responsive visibility will take effect only on preview or live page and not while editing in Elementor, so I'll have to hide the main Elementor's panel. Okay? and the menu is there as you can see now switch to tablet okay the horizontal menu is gone our hamburger button took the place which is fine now the mobile yeah it's all right however there's one little thing left to be done let me show you first what's going on with our off canvas menu when browser window is resized manually I'll have to go to the front end to demonstrate the problem. So, if I resize the window for the first time, my horizontal menu disappears at the tablet breakpoint, which is fine. But if I now click the hamburger icon and open the off canvas menu, then resize the window back to the desktop size, my off canvas menu doesn't disappear automatically. And the little thing that's left to be done is to hide the off canvas menu for all the desktop machines how do I do that let's open our pop-up template first I'll have to go to the WordPress admin first then templates pop-ups and then select our off canvas menu pop-up for edit pop-up template doesn't have responsive panel under advanced tab so the only way to handle the problem is as you probably guess custom CSS panel and of course a little bit of CSS code nothing too much just one single rule between two slices of bread so to speak before I open custom CSS panel I'm going to give a custom class name to my pop-up my off canvas menu and it's going to be off canvas menu why did I do that? Because this is how I'm going to refer to my pop-up when adding CSS rules. That's going to be my pop-up identifier, so to speak. Alright? Now expand custom CSS panel finally. And if you remember, we need to make the off-canvas menu invisible whenever the horizontal menu is visible. Because we don't need both menus at the same time. It's confusing and it doesn't look right. Because of the fact that this is some sort of the clause or a condition, we must use media query. More precisely, media query that triggers the desktop screen resolution and which is by the default in Elementor, 1025 pixels and above, of course. What is media query? Media query is some sort of the clause according to which browser knows how to render certain class or element with a class at a certain screen resolution. So here's what we need in this case. This is how my media query looks like. I'm going to type in at media open close a pair of normal brackets followed by the pair of curly brackets. All right. Then inside the pair of normal brackets, I'm going to add min width column 1025 pixels. All right. And now between the curly brackets, I'm going to type in the class name 
of my off canvas menu or a pop-up okay so off canvas menu then open close a pair of curly brackets again and I'm gonna add display column none and then important rule this is actually how I can overrule Elementor's default display rule for the pop-up without important rule it wouldn't work Basically, the above chunk of code says that whenever the screen resolution is 1025 pixels or above, do not display our off-canvas menu. As simple as that. However, as you can see, our pop-up or the off-canvas menu is not visible anymore in Elementor and it's because of the CSS rule that I just have added. That's kind of stupid because I'm, I'm no longer able to edit my menu unless I switch responsive mode to either a tablet or mobile. So, in order to fix that problem, I'll add or prepend another class to off canvas menu, existing class. And that very class will tell Elementor to actually apply my CSS rule only if Elementor editor is not active. Or better say, hide the off canvas menu only if page is viewed in front end or outside the editor. And here's what I'm going to add. Body, column, not open close a pair of normal brackets and inside I'm gonna add Elementor editor active just for your information whenever you are in edit mode whenever you edit certain page or template in Elementor the Elementor editor active class is added to the document body element what I wrote here actually says whenever body element does not have a class Elementor editor active hide or don't display my off canvas menu element because of the fact that we are in edit mode and the class elementor editor active is assigned to the body element right now the browser simply ignores my css rule i hope it makes sense it's maybe a little bit mind-boggling but that's just how things work and now i have to update my pop-up okay so update and let's get back to the front end Refresh browser's window and see whether everything works all right. Now I'm going to scale browser window to test functionality. Okay. As you can see, the off canvas menu disappears whenever the desktop breakpoint is reached, even though I didn't shut it down, which is perfectly fine. So yeah, it looks perfect. Hopefully this tutorial will help you sharpen your Elementor skills or maybe you get an idea how to make your own alternative version of responsive menu. It doesn't necessarily need to be an off canvas thing. A simple pop up with some nice entrance animation might also work. It's up to you. Anyway, if you like this tutorial, give me a thumb up, comment, share, spread the word. Anything you do will be fine. And if you do so, I'll make more Elementor tips and tricks videos. Stay tuned and thanks for the support.